Hey friend, I'm Pastor Joe. Today is Friday and I have your word for the day. I am amazed by the advancements the medical field has made within the last 67 years. Did you know that in 1954, the very first organ was transplanted into another human being? It was the kidney. And 67 years later, just about every internal organ has been transplanted from one body into another body. The eyes have been transplanted, the pancreas, the liver, the heart. And even within the last 10 years, face transplants have become available. But did you know over 2,000 years ago, God began transplanting minds? No, not the brain, but God began replacing the thoughts of man with the mind of Christ. The Apostle Paul writes this in 1 Corinthians 2, 16, B, but we have the mind of Christ. Paul says, we have, not past tense. He does not say we had the mind of Christ. He says present tense, we have, we currently possess the mind of Christ. Can you confidently say that you have the mind of Christ? Do you see people the way Jesus sees them? Do you have a desire for all people to experience a relationship with God through the forgiveness of sins? All people, not just the people you love, not just the people you like, not just the people that live in your house, all people, not just the people in your life you agree with. Do you see people the same way Jesus does? Well, Paul writes a little bit more about the mind of Christ. As you're asking yourself that question, Paul writes in Philippians 2, verses 5 through 9, you must have the same attitude that Christ Jesus had. Though he was God, he did not think of equality with God as something to cling to. Instead, he gave up his divine privileges. He took the humble position of a slave and was born as a human being. When he appeared in human form, he humbled himself in obedience to God and died a criminal's death on a cross. How can you be sure you have the mind of Christ being sharpened in your life on a regular basis? Well, when you begin to see all other people as more important than yourself. When you begin to have the attitude to serve all people, not just the people you love the most. So let today be a day when you refocus your mind on Jesus and continue the transplant of your mind that he desires for your life. And and praise God, the old life is gone and the new life has come. If today's word for the day has blessed you, apply it, like it, or leave a comment. God bless.